Yeah, that's right. We are back. <laughs> this week, I've been having a lovely old time, reclaiming a few old tricks, and also tarting up my nose stools. It's been a cracking start to the year in terms of opportunities for skateboarding. There's been quite a few dry and sunny days and the rest of the time the indoor skate park has saved our bacon. I've been coming back from injury and I've been quite enjoying the process of each session trying to claim back two or three tricks that I used to be able to do. I've also been seizing the opportunity to try and address any weaknesses in those tricks and sort of generally tart them up, try and make them more proper and more stylish. One trick that I always used to enjoy doing was the humble nose stall. However, it always felt a little bit out of control, sort of holding on for dear life. I used to go up, woo, maybe do a tail grab as well, right up on its ear, and then wing of a prayer, just keep everything crossed on the way back in. So I've been looking forward to revisit the nose stall with a view to improving it, try and make it a little bit more controlled. And the main thing that I wanted to work on was getting that nose stall flattened out. So not right up on the deck and then basically a drop in. I just wanted to make it one flow in sort of nose tap and back in. Now I've worked through this process with the tail stall because I used to do my tail stalls in a similar way, right up on the deck, board up on a wonk and then basically a drop back in. And I found that when I leveled out that tail stall, it felt way more committed, but way more satisfying to come back in. There was a lot more flow and just keeping my body inside the ramp a bit more meant I spent less time doing that tail stall. Overall, I felt it just looked a little bit more stylish and controlled and more like what the dudes who know what they're doing would do. So due to my injury being my front leg hamstring, I had to wait until that was strong enough to be able to get up on the coping and be confident to do that nose stall. I felt that now was the time, so I took a trip out to my favorite local mini ramp to see if I could reclaim that nose stall. Okay, managed to get the nose stall back. I found that just going up on the top to start with gave me the confidence, stay up there, did a sneaky little fakie drop in. And once I'd done that, I found that I could link the two together. I've been working on trying to level them out and it's starting to feel quite nice when I get it right. A Couple of times I needed to bail and when I'm bailing, I'm just making sure I'm not standing back on the board. That's pretty scary. Also, there is a bit of a propensity when I try to level it out to come up a bit short and that's not too bad, just have to be careful not to roll the old ankle. I found that the things that helped me level them out was number one, get my front foot in the pocket of the nose rather than right on the nose. And that helped me just stick it onto the coping. I also kept my body out into the transition so I could lean against that lock on the coping and it meant I didn't need to get the board right upon its ear. And the other thing that I did was also try not to bring my back leg up too much. And that just felt a little bit committed because the board was level and the bail. Whoo. But once I got a few, I managed to balance there. And it's just a feel thing of trying to get the correct balance so that I could come up, keep the board level, and then make a nice smooth transition back in. I still feel I'm a little bit rigid because I'm quite scared. So I'm gonna try a few more attempts where I just relax down, see if I can get them smooth and relaxed. Okay, there's a feeling pretty good now, so I'm just gonna quickly refresh my leveled out tail stall, then I'm gonna see if I can link a leveled out tail stall to a leveled out nose stall, resist my temptation to whoa, tense up, see if I can get a little bit of relaxed style in there, see how it feels.
okay, I managed to link a few leveled out nose stalls to leveled out tail stalls. I found the trick was to not pump quite as hard as I've been pumping, try and stay inside the ramp. Now that does feel a lot more committed. I had a couple of times where I nearly came back down on the board. Whew. But other than that, I think managed to get those leveled out. I'm gonna do another few runs where I really try and relax, see if I can get them really stylish, and then it's jobs are good and. Overall, I really enjoyed the challenge of practicing that nose stall to tail stall drill. Just having that goal in mind of trying to keep things level, trying to keep my body committed to the transition and trying to keep everything flowing and stylish, helped me push past my limits. And that sheer amount of repetitions helped get that new way of doing the nose stall and tail stall into my muscle memory. Probably much more so than just trying to do the odd nose stall in the middle of a run. Obviously not really a spectator sport, and not something that one would crack out in the middle of a session. But when I'm skating on my own, I do quite enjoy trying to enter into that hypnotic flow-like state where everything's just happening and you feel like a bit of a passenger. I had some time spare at the end of the session, so I thought I'd try and reclaim a couple of variations. First up was a nose stall revert. Now it's been a good three or four months since I tried a nose stall revert, and I remember that when these go wrong, <laughs> it can be a little bit emotional. So I decided to pop the pads on be a little bit cautious and I'm glad I did because I made a little bit of a meal of it. The other trick I was itching to get back in the bag was the river dance. Now, this is a tail stall variation. Come up, switch your feet on the tail, and then hop back in, Whew, bit of a leap of faith. Now I used to do this one all the time, but again, I haven't done it for a good three or four months. And the absolute key to this one I found is commitment and confidence. So I used to do these at least once or twice every session just to maintain that confidence. I found that having this time off, whew, it was pretty scary offering it up and I entered into a little mini battle to reclaim the river dance. Well that's it for this video, as ever many thanks for your support, the channel has now hit 1 million views which is <laughs> pretty humbling. If you're new to the channel feel free to hit subscribe, I make new videos every week. You can also follow me on Instagram at John Bishop Skate. As ever my name has been John Bishop and I'm a middle aged guy learning how to skate. <laughs>